Pat backwards this time as we talk to Elijah McAllister. It's a young man's game. And he just looks like a guy that occasionally would spin that hat around backwards. So I'm going to go I'm gonna go young man's game hat backwards for Elijah McAllister today. I've never seen him in a hat. Uh, me either. Yeah. Uh, he is with us each week, courtesy of Craneworks and Rental Works. Elijah's one of the big guys out there. The big guy says check out the big dog. Craneworks and Rental Works, the Auburn team captain with us now on the JohnstonRVCenter.com hotline. What is up, Elijah? How are you? Good, and yourself? Good. Do you ever go hat backwards like Dunaway is right now? No, I never had backwards. Uh, I wore a hat a couple times this week, though. Uh, we're not allowed to wear them in the building, so I try to. That's why you never see me in one uh, in here. But I, I try. I try to wear them from every once in a while. Oh, interesting. So that's oh, a, wow. co- a coach freeze team rule: no hats in the building, huh? No, no hats in the building, no headphones. So that's why you'll never really see me with my AirPods or anything in or. Uh, my, my hat. Well, wow, Fre- that is old school. Hugh Freeze is coaching in 1977. I mean, that's pretty old school right there. Now. <laughs> I mean, loosen up, Hugh. <laughs> hey, so uh, 48-10. I mean, it seems like this team's coming together at the right time. Yeah, I mean, it, it felt great to go out there um, just from a team standpoint and go out there and kind of, you know, play our best, you know, most complete game of the year. Uh, it was it was from, from the start to finish. I mean, we kind of hit the ground running from the opening kickoff, literally. I mean, had a tackle inside the 15, I think, and kind of boosted our spirits up, and it, it was, it was you know, good ever since then. So it felt good for us to get out there and kind of play what we felt like was our most complete game of football uh, the whole year so far. I, I turned the hat around because it's in New Mexico State colors this week, and I didn't want to mm-hmm. make you mad. Sneaky good 8-3 and three team coming in. I know SEC fans will be like, New Mexico State, but you've seen them on tape. They're not that bad, aren't they? Yeah, they're pretty good. And any team that's in there, you know, has already clinched their conference championship is, is good. They can play football. And it's tough, as you know, the buzz, you know, surrounding the, the town or, you know, outside these walls is, you know, getting ready for the Iron Bowl and, you know, excited for that. But we know we need to focus on this team. It was a great team coming in. They have eight wins, so they can play football for sure. Yeah, that is Elijah McAllister, the Auburn team captain. And he hit on what I wanted to ask about. He's presented by Crane Works Rental Works. Crane Works and Rental Works. The big guy says look for the big dog. The human nature is to look forward to the Iron Bowl and look past this game. How do you prevent it personally? And as a team captain, how do you make sure the players that are playing with you on this team per, uh, don't look past this to the Iron Bowl? Yeah, so me personally, I just, you know, get as another opportunity to, you know, showcase my skills against another formidable opponent, regardless of who they are and what we have next week. I know I can focus on this week. And as a person who's had injury in the past, I know nothing's guaranteed. Uh, so just taking it game by game is important for me personally. Then as a team captain, just at practice, you know, upholding a standard and continuing to practice hard. You know, we're not going to practice any harder next week or any less hard this week or everything. But soon we have a standard that we want to do. Um, at practice and want to, you know, uphold. And I'm going to try to continue to do that throughout this week so it doesn't dip. K.J. Jefferson seemed to get his uh, his, his swagger back a little bit last week against Florida, and then you guys completely derailed that. Um, is that the biggest quarterback you've ever gone against? <laughs> yeah, he's definitely the biggest quarterback I've ever, you know, played against. I mean, he's like a tight end out there. It's tough to tackle if you, you know, saw the game or watched the tape. It took about two or three of us to get him down. Uh, he, he's a good quarterback, though. He's a good player. Uh, you starting to get emotional about about some of these last things? Like this is, I think this is the next to last time you'll be on with us. Maybe good. I doubt that's at the height of the list. <laughs> I mean, it's it's definitely up there, though. You know, just the whole college experience in general. But I think what has kind of helped, you know, put a halt to you know me kind of you know being a little upset about the season is uh, clinching bowl eligibility. So I'll at least have another you know month with, or or. or two or three weeks of my guys to continue to, you know, build and, you know, continue to have that college experience. So. How do you not look ahead to the Thanksgiving meal? Look past New Mexico State to the Thanksgiving meal next week. That's got to be hard, too. It's hard because Thanksgiving is my favorite holiday, so I'm, I'm all for it. I, I love Thanksgiving. Oh, you and Lance. Yeah, yeah, me too. Yeah, The best. You get football, you get food, you get family. I mean, it's like literally like the best of both worlds. So I'm, I'm, try, I'm trying not to look ahead, but. I'm definitely thinking about what's going to be my Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Okay, as your career is winding down, what is the best part about a typical day for you as a student athlete? Probably the the locker room after practice. Guys are usually like in good spirits because we just finished the hard days of work. We have nothing left for the rest of the day, and we're just kind of like hanging out and having fun. So probably the locker room right after practice is probably my favorite part. Um, I would tell you that 
when you get married, it, your Thanksgiving is not as simple as just football and food. That's all I'm going to say. Mine has become, okay. mine's been a lot more complicated the last 25 years. Yeah, his is golf and Madden now. So. Yeah, it's just, it, it, it's not always, it's not always as easy as it used to be when I just sit at my house and eat great food and stuff. Uh, so, so bowl, bowl projections now that you guys are obviously in it, do you start looking at those and saying, oh, they have us going here, they have us going there? Do you look at those? Uh, I, I don't. I know some guys try to, you know, like point out where they think we're going to go. And I don't know. It's tough to guess because we still have two games left. And I think that'll, you know, help us, you know, elevate to get to a different kind of bowls based off how it performs. So you can never really tell till afterwards. I just, you know, we just hope as a team that it's, you know, somewhere that we can get out and, and have a little mini vacation a little bit while also playing football with our guys yeah you want warm weather i mean that's what we used to talk about is playing for better weather and the more you win the better the weather gets normally in these bowl games exactly exactly well i saw you guys in nashville i, I was actually looking at bowl projections this morning somebody had you guys going to the music city bowl and then what used to be the outback bowl i don't know what it is now in tampa but that yeah. would be a January first game, so I mean that would be that'd be huge, pretty remarkable turnaround. But for we, we got to get Elijah. He's played so much football in Nashville. We can't have Elijah going to Nashville to play again, right? I, I think everybody else will probably be excited, and I'll I'll be like, man, I'm, I'm going back to a place I spent years at. I probably want to go anywhere else. Um, but but they they kind of feel similarly about Birmingham in a way. Like, man, they don't they don't really want to yeah, go to Birmingham. It's the the Relia Quest Bowl. Relia that's Quest in Bowl. Uh, that's, that's in, in Tampa. Tampa. Yeah. But now you've you've spent so much time in Nashville, you know all the fun spots. Like if if you took a player from Auburn and you guys went to Nashville, where would you take him to show him a good time? Man, uh, I definitely take him to the African American Music Museum. I think that's really cool uh, to go and see like where you know our culture started and how music has progressed. And then I'll take him downtown, uh, see like they have a walking bridge uh, downtown Broadway. Take him there. Then we'll go eat some good food, see some live music, and then spend the rest of the night downtown Broadway and, and be safe. We'll be we'll have some fun. Did, yeah. did you ever safe, ride bro. a mechanical bull down there on Broadway? Nah, that's that, that's that's not my thing. I, I don't really I never did that um or got on the cycling, you know, things that people all pedal and, and, and ride down Broadway, but I've done pretty much everything else. Um yeah. the gentleman sitting right here that had his hat on backwards rode a mechanical bull, put the hat back on backwards. Back in July. Yeah, Dunaway rode a mechanical bull in July at one of the bars on Lower Broadway when and, we were there for SEC Media Days. Uh, and it felt like it was going really fast. And then uh Taylor Corn, who handles our social media proud Auburn grad, um showed me the video and posted it and it was like slow motion. It was moving like it was moving like I barely put, moving like I'd put a quarter in it outside a grocery store back in the day. Yeah, yeah. Um, country music. Have you ever sang a country music song in karaoke? Yeah, because you and, got music talent. Yeah, I mean, I, I have not ever you know sung one in a karaoke, but I do have a couple favorite you know artists that I like and some guys. I, I when I first got to obviously coming to New Jersey, I never really heard country music ever. I really didn't take a liking to it, but spending years in Nashville, I actually enjoy it a lot. I'm trying to teach some of my other teammates who don't really like country music. They listen to all rap all the time. Like, hey, you can try this sometime. Give, 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 give me a, give me an artist then. Give me one one artist think, that you like. I think, uh, Cody Johnson a lot. Yeah, I like, I like him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, They're both the, pretty good. And they, uh, Cody Johnson did the uh, he did the painter about his wife. That's a really cool song. Yeah. What was the good other one? Good voices, good music, can play. I mean, I, I appreciate it more, more than I probably would have if I didn't go to school in Nashville. We talked over your second one. You said another one other than Cody Johnson. Who was the other one? I like Morgan Wallen a lot, too. Yeah, Morgan Wallen, Morgan yeah. Morgan Wallen. Yeah, I mean, dude's selling out stadiums. Yeah, he just he, did Truist Park in Atlanta. But by the it's way, the, the CMAs give him nothing. Like, he's so popular, but the CMAs, they nominate him, but he never wins. It's, it's never like, wins. That's tough. You know, those, the, I don't know who votes for that stuff. Like, whether it's the fans, the, there's going to have a committee or whatever. I don't know. It's, it's always tough to win. Stuck to win up old way. people. Stuck up old people. They don't want to give it to Morgan Wallen is what it is. Yeah. Hey, if you didn't see it, and you may have, go watch. It's very short. Go watch Jelly Roll's acceptance speech for New Artist of the Year. Really inspiring. That guy has got an oh, incredible so backstory. He I'm, said, I'm definitely going to watch. He says the sure. same thing every time he gets an award. Well, Dunaway, I had never seen it. I am oh. sorry, Elijah, <laughs> if you've seen every award he's ever gotten, but I had not. Well, I the good news good. is there'll be a country music award show next week. <laughs> That's true. They have a lot of those, yes. <laughs> it's an industry. Yeah. Man, thank you. Enjoy your week. Enjoy. Uh, we'll talk to you before Thanksgiving. Of never course mind. we will. Yeah, the yeah, day yeah. before Thanksgiving next week yeah. uh, when we can finally talk about the Iron Bowl with him. <laughs> Brown, I'm sure, has already asked yeah, yeah, you finally, yeah. Thanksgiving <laughs> questions. So we'll ask you what you want for Christmas nope, next, nope, next week. Nope, nope, We did not get into it this time. I didn't want to get harassed again. Uh, Elijah, thank you very much for the time. Good luck against New Mexico State. We'll see you next Wednesday. 
Thank you. See you all next week. All right, buddy. Take care. Elijah McAllister with us, courtesy of Crane Works and Rental Works. The big guy says look for the big dog, Crane Works and Rental Works. He was with us on the JohnstonRVCenter.com hotline. Yeah.